Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Golden Goal Show. A beautiful weekend we had on football, and it was absolutely a blast from the plast. I said plast. I mean, I guess you can <laughs> plaster this all over the board because, oh my gosh, Liverpool City game. Absolutely fanatic. Absolutely beautiful. Ah, it's the game. It is the game of the beauty of the football. Let me introduce you to a guest who is probably happy right now. I don't know if you're happy, honestly. But Xander, Liverpool fan, introduce yourself. Hello. Hi, I am Alexander, the number one Liverpool fan of the number one club. Okay. What can I say? Okay. Uh, how, how are you feeling about this uh, current, I guess, weekend of football? Yeah. Well, actually, uh, I gotta gotta be honest. I, I'm I feel good about the number one club, but uh, I feel like overall Liverpool is probably maybe a little more fortunate to get out of there with the draw. I thought it was a good game, but I think City had a couple more chances than Liverpool that they could have put away. So fair enough. Yeah, that's a good statement. But okay, everybody, welcome to the show. Listening on Spotify, listening on YouTube, and let us get into it first. The best league in the world, or sure, whatever you want to call it, the Premier League. First place is. Manchester City holding up their crown. Second place, Liverpool yanking down that crown, but still in behind. Third place is Chelsea FC. Fourth place is Tottenham. Fifth place is Arsenal. And sixth place is West Ham United. And in 20th place is Norwich City. Match day 32. Let's get into it. Newcastle and Wolves. 1 to 0 for Newcastle. Everton, Manchester United. Poor performance for Manchester United. And a win for Frank Lampard's Everton. Watford, Leeds United, nil to three for Leeds United. Southampton, Chelsea, nil to six for Chelsea. <laughs> Absolutely battering Southampton to a pulp. Oh my gosh. They they needed that win. They needed that win after two losses. All right. Arsenal, Brighton, one to two for Brighton. Arsenal falling to the bad stick again. Austin Villa and Tottenham, nil to four for Tottenham. Battering Steven Gerrard's Austin Villa and a hat trick for the guy, the man, the myth, the South Korean king, Hyung Min Sun. Leicester City and Palace, 2-1 to one for Leicester City. James Madison, exceptional performance. Norwich City, Burnley, 2-0 to nil for Norwich City. Actually getting away and needing those points because they are falling off very bad. And then Brentford and West Ham, 2-0 to nil for Brentford. Battling the Hammers, which needed the points to stay up, but... Losing to Christian Eriksen and Brentford. Yeah, it's, yeah you got to give it to Christian. Manchester City and Liverpool, one of the games of the weekend, two to mm-hmm. two with a draw there, and whew, yeah, that was a very great, I say a great half, I don't know, great game, but great half of football, so, all right, well, let me first have to say, Everton, Manchester United, if Abed was here, he'd be disappointed, because Ronaldo, mm-hmm. ah, he was ah. not there, he wasn't even there, he, did you hear what happened about him, Xander? Can I just say more like Ronaldo, no. Except, who? Hey. Mm, mm, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> did you hear what happened, though, with R- Ronaldo? Uh, I did not hear what happened. I was very busy this weekend. Okay, okay. All right, I'll partying with the transfer targets, <laughs> I see. I get it. It's fine. Oh, you know how it is. Got to lure them in. Yeah, yeah, that sounds... Uh, yep, okay. Well, <laughs> uh, Everton did win against Manchester United, and L- Ronaldo was so pissed during the game, a fan came up to him and tried to take a photo with him after... And Ronaldo smacked the kid's phone out of his hand and, like, broke one of his fingers and then broke one of the phones. Um, broke broke the phone. I just want to say that that action will not be tolerated by any Liverpool players as they are the most upstanding of citizens. <sighs> yeah, um, except that interviewer, Van Dyke, the uh, fan came up to Van Dyke and just pushed his face away. Yeah. Ah, heat of the moment. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, I don't, I don't know if Ronaldo broke his hand or broke his finger as it gave him a little scratch, oh. but still unacceptable, and they are pressing charges on Ronaldo. Oh, no. What is he going to do? Pay them millions of dollars? Oh, no. But, yeah. Yeah. How will we get out of this one? I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah. Uh, Everton, what a win there. Southampton and Chelsea. Oh, my gosh. Chelsea, beautiful performance. Southampton, absolutely dire and defending they looked rubbish they looked kaput they looked scheisse. they were bad kai havertz with a goal mason mount with two timo Werner even got two even though he's hit the post like three four times uh marcus alonzo with a goal as well too and uh other people scored 
I mean, I don't know who else to say that scored, but yeah, other people scored. <laughs> but yeah, that was the game. And also, let us now get into Harry Kane and Son linking up, of course, with three goals for her Son. Beautiful performance for him. Yep. And Harry Kane, of course, assisting him, the, one of the best partnerships in the Prem. So, hey, Tottenham's yeah. up there beating Arsenal, and they are holding on to that fourth Champions League spot. And then Manchester yeah. City and Liverpool. Oh, Beautiful oh. game. I I loved every moment of it. And the f- fifth minute of the game, mm-hmm. who scored? De Bruyne. I mean, it is mm-hmm. it was inevitable. He's just absolutely one of the best midfielders in the world right now. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know what else to say. And then Liverpool after that bounced back with who scored? I want to say was it Jota? Jota was it? got it first. Okay, Jota, Jota. He got a goal and then bounced back to uh, who scored again for City? Jesus? I think it was yeah. Jesus, yeah. It was. Jesus. And then um, also another one, Saudi Omane actually That's getting... The birthday boy. Yes, on his birthday too. And mm-hmm. getting an assist by no other than Salah. Who knew that Salah mm-hmm. could assist a goal? <laughs> oh, come on. I think you're talking about the world record holder for goals created per game in Premier League ever. Okay, okay, well, fair. But, yeah, that was a great half of football. I mean, Xander, do you have anything to say about that? Because you are a Liverpool fan indeed. Yes, it was a great half of football, and I was with or talking to a Man City friend of mine, fan at the time. They have fans? Holy crap. uh, I know, right? I I think they just bought them. (laughs) But, uh, yeah, it was fun to go back and forth. Very exciting game. I was... Very nervous each time Man City got up. And then especially skipping to the end, like that last chance they had at the end of the game, I thought it was going to be a heartbreaker. But then Liverpool got out of it with the tie, which I, I feel good about. They got the they got the better goal differential right now, just down a point. I think they're not in too bad of a spot. Yeah. I mean, I fully agree with that, honestly. And City could have came up with a win, but, but honestly, Liverpool could have came up with a win. It was a top two serve game, and one of the best games of the season, and oof, this tight title race is getting very, very. How many games are there left? I think it's uh, there's seven left. Seven left? In Liverpool. Okay, okay, but yeah, I mean they're playing again. I think in a week or so for the, the is it, cup. I, for what? Uh, what, what the cup game? Is, is it EFL or is it FA Cup? It's one of those. I forgot which one it is. I'll check oh. for it real quick. Okay, okay, but yeah, I mean. They're playing each other again, and Pep and Klopp, one of the best FA, coach- Cup. FA Cup. Okay, yeah, best, best, one of the best coaches in the world right now. They just respect each other, and after the game, they oh, just give each other a big old hug. So it's nice to see yeah. that. It was like that uh, video of the guy on the airplane going, "I want to shake your hand to each other." They yeah. were that mean. Yes, they were the mean. Okay, <laughs> well, that was a Premier League, guys, and let us now get into La Liga, and let us say. First place is Real Madrid. No surprises there. Second place is Barcelona. Third place Sevilla. Fourth place Atletico Madrid. Fifth place Real Betis. And sixth place Real Sociedad. And twentieth place is Alaves. All right, match day thirty-one. Let's get into it. Sevilla, Granada, four to two for Sevilla. Cadiz and Real Betis, one to two for Real Betis. Mallorca and Atletico Madrid, one to nil for Mallorca, stopping Atletico Madrid's. Oh, win ratio. Oh my gosh. How? I, uh, what can I say? The choke of. No, 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 they're not the choke artist. Of, if I talk, I'm in trouble. Let me remind. Villarreal at the club, one to one with a draw there. Real Madrid and Getaf, two to nil. It is inevitable for Karim Bazima, of course, getting a goal. And Real Madrid with a win, staying top of the league. Asunia and Alaves, one to nil for Asunia. Espanyol and Celta Vigo, 1-0 for Espanyol. Elche and Real Sociedad, 1-2 for Real Sociedad. Levante and Barcelona, great game here as well. 2-3 for Barcelona. Real Vallecano and Lentia, 1-1. I mean, what else can we say besides Korean Bizimi and Real Madrid doing amazing? And then Barcelona, a great game here. Xavi, of course, keeping up the Masterclass performance with... Five wins in a row. I mean, they, they've won more than five in a row, actually. So, I mean, they're youngsters, Javi, Pedri, and they even they brought on Luke de Jong, one of the Dutch <laughs> Dutch players who never plays. But, hey, he, he scores a goal when it counts. So, Barcelona, they are going to be dangerous the next coming years. But maybe not this year, but 
you know, Real Madrid is going to win. They have 72 points and 60 points for Barcelona. And you can only do so much when you have Adama Torreira looking like the Hulk on the side. I would never go against that guy. He, he, he scares me. He gives me I was good. just going to say it's not just La Liga that Real Madrid's looking good in. There was another game not too long ago against a particular team that they looked pretty good as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that in a bit, man. We'll, we'll talk about it in a bit. Okay, okay. Well, now let's go into the Bundesliga, Yavo. First place is Bayern München. Second place is Borussia Dortmund. Third place is Bayern Leverkusen. Fourth place is RB Leipzig. And in fifth place is Freiburg. And in 18th place is Fürth. Match day 29, let's get into it. Stuttgart and Dortmund, near the two for Dortmund. Of course, getting up the wins when it doesn't really matter. Fourth and Bayern München Gladbach, nil to two for Bayern München Gladbach. Köln and Mainz, three to two for Köln. Bayern and Augsburg, one to nil, of course, for Lewandowski FC. I'm just kidding, it's Bayern. They, they are... They are amazing. Wolfsburg and Armenia, 4 to nil for Wolfsburg battering Armenia. <laughs> Hertha Berlin and Union Berlin, 1 to 4 for Union Berlin. Bochum and Leverkusen, nil to nil the draw there. Oh, Leverkusen needed those points, but falling short with a draw. Eintracht Frankfurt and Freiburg, 1 to 2 for Freiburg. Great game for both teams, but Freiburg getting the goal in the end. Leipzig and Hoffenheim, 3 to nil for Leipzig. Beautiful performance for them as well. Ah, Lewandowski scores. I mean, I don't know what else to say in the Bundesliga. Lewandowski scores. That's that's all I have to say. <laughs> also joining the show right now is Emilio, one of the United fans and a very happy boy right now. Uh, hello, enjoy oh, yourself, yeah. mate. Uh, yeah, I'm Emilio. Uh, again, sorry for the late, late in. Sorry for uh, late. Very sorry nice. Sorry for late. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was having Wi-Fi trouble and uh, I just barely made it it's okay we, at least you're here and that's all that counts but honestly let me i just want to hear your opinion um united everton we talked about it a little bit and we talked about ronaldo doing the naughty naughty what do you have to say about everton's performance and united's performance this this week united, united's performance were trash i'm just gonna say it right now mm-hmm. I, I i honestly i thought we were we were gonna win one one nil at least, but but Ev- Ev- Everton. <laughs> I don't. Can I say lucky? Because yeah. I I don't. Yeah. Okay. They they got lucky, and we we were just not performing like we used to. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. But United, get it straight, please. Yeah. I'm begging yeah. you as a United fan. <laughs> yeah. I mean, did you? I mean, if you rely on Ronaldo, that's kind of. Now, I'm not going to say that he's washed or anything because he's still a world-class player, but if you just rely on a player that you think – if you think a player is going to fix your team and you just rely on him, then it's just not going to work, especially if that player is, you know, not having that positive attitude for the game as well too. So, okay, Can I be honest with you? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't even I wasn't even relying on Ronaldo. I was hoping I was hoping for Rashford or Fernand oh, or, or Cavani to like, to like help us out, but I, I guess <sighs> not. You think Ronaldo's going downhill? You think his? I I mean I mean from the from the start I had a big hype for him because I thought he was gonna we would be one step closer to like the prem the prem champ uh the prem prem championships uh uh the pre, the Premier League um title or yeah. and and the um at least a step forward for um for the Champions League, League. yeah but I, it it just it just didn't. It just didn't happen. I, it, it, I mean, it's turning into a messy situation at a point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but at least PSG is winning. I mean, P, I mean, he just went there as a boring move just to win some participation medals. So, <laughs> that's. Uh, did you also hear about what Ronaldo did to a fan? I <laughs> did. Naughty, naughty. That's naughty, naughty. Do you, okay, uh, do you do you know what happened? I just know that like he like like a kid was trying to take a picture with him and they smacked like the his hand and then broke the phone or something like that that from what you said that's all i heard i didn't hear anything else i don't know like did he break the kid's finger or something like that that's i thought i heard that but i I... no i thought he just broke the phone okay okay yeah and then yeah he also i forgot this he was offering the kid 
to come watch United game. Oh, man. No, I'm not going to fix the phone. Come watch the United <laughs> game. Yeah, you just break your heart even more. I'll break your phone. I'll break your heart. Oh, no. Oh, why would no. you? Just pay for the phone. Oh, my gosh. I, and give him a ticket. Jeez. I, I, I mean, if it was an iPhone phone, then he has my permission. Uh, I mean, it, it wouldn't be broken if it was a BlackBerry or a Samsung. Come on. Let's, let's be honest. But all right. Now let us now get into Siri. Uh, all right. First place is AT Milano. Second place is Inter Milano. Third place is Napoli. Fourth place is Juventus. Fifth place is Roma. And in 20th place is Salernitana. All right, match day 32. Let us get it to it. Empoli and Spezia. It's a draw. Nil to nil there. Inter Milano and Verona. Two to nil. Great win for Inter Milano when they needed it the most. Cagliari and Juventus. One to two for Juventus. Great win for them as well. Genoa and Lazio, one to four for Lazio, getting a great win there as well. Napoli and Florentina, two to three for Florentina. A great game there as well. Oh, oh, that was a great game, actually. I don't know why I'm overhyping it. It was a great game. Yes. Susulio and Atalanta, two to one for Susulio. Venezia and Udinese, one to two for Udinese. Ete Roma and Salernitana, two to one for Ete Roma. Torino and Ete Milano, nil to nil with a draw there. They needed those three points in AC Milano. They are falling behind, but oh, we never know what can happen in the title race. Bologna and Sampdoria, two to nil, and for Bologna. Anybody want to comment on any of the games for the Italian league? Not all at once, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, honest, honestly, oh. uh, my I didn't watch any of the uh, the the Serie A games because mm-hmm. all my channels were covered uh premier league and mls so i didn't even know how they went uh, yeah i feel it american tv is terrible either you get the premier league i mean why not honestly you could have in europe sky sports or br sports or whatever over there premier league and sky. indian league you can have honestly third division african league but no, over here in America, we have women's softball, college women's <laughs> softball. You know, I just want to watch some college women's softball all the damn time. And hey, maybe let's just watch some Ultimate Tag while we're at it, because that seems Whoa, to be more let's important. Let's not hate on Ultimate <laughs> like, Tag now. I, I'm, are you I'm okay? <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm pissed. That, that, that's, that's growing up in freaking America. They have to deal with that stuff. But then he, I moved to Germany, and it's like perfect because I can just watch every game there. And then I moved back to freaking college women's volleyball. <sighs> it's okay. Mood. I know. I'm sorry, but it's okay. Safe enough to be a great title race here, though. What in college women's volleyball? Oh, well, that too, obviously. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but, but, but yeah, Inter Milano, AT Milano, and Napoli, all with, I mean, Napoli's 66 points, Inter Milano 66 points, and. AC Milano, 68 points, and Inter Milano has only played 31 games, and mm-hmm. AC Milano and Napoli played 32, so ooh, Inter could win it again, so I'm only mm-hmm. hoping for that, so I'm only hoping that, but a big loss. I like Napoli. I, I'm great. That's They have good pizza there, so yeah, yeah. I agree with that. All right, let us now get into Ligue 1. Lovely stuff. First place is Paris Saint-Germain, no surprises there. Great game for them this weekend. Uh, second place, Marseille. Third place is Dien. Fourth place is Strasbourg. And fifth place is Nice, Nice. And sixth place is Monaco. And 20th place is Metz. All right, match day 31. Let us get into it. Loyant and Saint-Étienne. Six to two for Loyant. Red card for Saint-Étienne being bad. Rhymes in Rien. Two, three for Rien. Great game as well for this team, Rien. Clermont Foot and PSG, one to six for PSG with Messi getting a hat trick of assists and Mbappe and Neymar getting actually a hat trick themselves. <laughs> it's about time. It's about <laughs> time. Tell me about it. But Bordeaux then, Bordeaux and Metz played three to one for Bordeaux. Angers and Lille, one to one, their disappointing result for Lille. Monaco and Toy, two to one for Monaco. Brest and Nantes, one to one with a draw there. Lens and Nice, three to nil for Lens. Red cards for both teams because why not just spank each other? Strasbourg and Lyon, one to one with a draw there. 
Marseille and Montpellier, two to nil for Marseille. Red card from Montpellier being very naughty. I mean, besides Messi doing what he does best in giving <laughs> assist and customer service to PSG, <laughs> and with Mbappe getting a hat trick and Neymar getting a hat trick, I mean, they played a team that sounds like a disease. You gotta be kidding me! Come on, Clermont Foot. I mean, Clermont Foot. Uh, what do you got? What do you got, Billy? Oh, I've got the whole Clermont Foot. I gotta get that checked uh, out. But yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry for disrespecting your team. Guys. More like Cement Foot if they're going down six <laughs> one. Okay, Sandra. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but <laughs> very fun, very nice. Okay, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was, I mean, PSG is winning this league. It's basically always a title race for second place. That's 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 literally what League One is. So, all right. Well, now let us get into our favorite time of the week, and that is Football Memes of the Week, brought to you by Rivals Banters and Troll Football. This is Emil Heskey, our beautiful, beautiful mascot. Look at him, looking at me, looking at him. Oh, my, I'm falling in love again. But all right, let's see the first meme. What do we have to say about this, guys? Luke de Jong when Barcelona struggles at the last moment. As you can see, I am not dead. I am not dead. <laughs> uh, do you guys know who Luke de Jong is, by the way? He's the midfielder, right? Close. That is Frankie de Jong. Uh, yes. Uh, Luke de Jong. I mean, from... they could be related. Yeah, there's a lot of de Jongs. I don't want to say anything, but if I speak, I am in trouble. There might be some blood in the family, but hey, you never know. But. <laughs> As you can see, I am not dead, but yes, Luke de Jong doing what he does best. He is basically the Olivier Giroud of La Liga right now, coming in with the last-minute goals when they need the most. But hey, great. I mean, to come off the bench and just score a goal and for everybody to love you, <laughs> sign me up. I would I would, I'd would, love to do that. But yeah. yeah, Luke de Jong did amazing with that game. All right, second meme. Let us see, get into it. What is this, guys? Tottenham Hotspur um, tweeted this after... Uh, Dijan Kulicevsku, how do you say this? Kul- <laughs> <laughs> Kulicevsky, sorry. Ooh. Yeah. Oof. What a finish. Take a bow, Dijan Kulicevsky. And then Billy, the Twitter user, uh, tweeted him, tweeted Tottenham back after that tweet. And they said, he's not finished. He's Swedish. Ha ha ha. Tottenham mm-hmm. Hosper tweeted back, he's not finished. He's only 21. <laughs> Get it? He's not finished. <laughs> he's only 21. Hey yo! Hey yo! Not him. <laughs> you, you, you guys, you guys. Why are you smiling like that? But, okay. But, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, yes, Don Hauser, beautiful admin. Great job, Dijan Kulicheski. I don't know why he left Juventus. I thought he was a great fit over there, but coming to Tottenham. I mean, why would you come to? T- uh, okay. Well, I guess he just. Okay. Likes- let's not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's not make anybody else any mad. Okay. Okay. Last meme. Let us see what this is. <laughs> Harry Maguire calling a handball for against his own teammates. Uh. <laughs> he did this in the game. I, who was that? I think that was um Matic. He put his hand out after um uh what's his name? Uh oh, what's his the guy who who looks like the pigeon. The pigeon. Who's the pigeon? The who's the pigeon at Everton? The guy who does the pigeon celebration. Oh, for Charleston, with Charleston, with Charleston. Sorry, yeah, the pigeon. But Richard Charleston like hit a ball up and Mati blocked with his hand. And then Harry Maguire, with his IQ of a bread, he, he just lifts his hand and he's like, referee, it, it's a ball. Imagine if Harry, imagine if Harry Maguire had the accent of Harry Kane. Oh my gosh, that would probably, Oh my gosh, <laughs> the memes would be out of this world for it. I mean. Uh, Ah, uh, poor, poor Harry Maguire, man. I, I, I can only show for the guy. The amount of bully, amount of stick he gets on social media must be immaculate. So he respects the game too much. It's like that basketball commercial where the guy's like, "Oh, coach, it went out on me." Nobody yeah, likes that. I guess nerd. so. I get, honestly, I guess so. Yeah, I mean. Oh yeah, that pass it on commercial, yeah. whatever that is. <laughs> yep. Uh. Nobody likes that kid. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, yes, Harry Maguire, absolute class. Um, and Emilio, I'm pretty sure eighty million dollars for eighty million, sorry, pounds for this guy. Um, I'm sure you're happy for the decisions that the board made. Yeah, sure. <laughs> we'll say it for now. Okay. Well, no, we're not. What am I saying? We're down to shit. I mean, we're down to poop. <laughs> to right, be funny. spending that money on Tottenham's social media manager. Honestly, 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 <laughs> honestly, yeah. Okay, 
Well, that was Football Means of the Week, guys, brought to you by Revel Banter and Troll Football. Thank you for watching. Also, now let's get into a great week of football. Champions League, the quarterfinals oof, are here. Oof, oof, oof. Oof, oof. I cannot wait. And by the time the show comes out, the results would have already been out. And Chelsea are playing Real Madrid right now and 3-1 to one for Real Madrid. And they're going home at the Bernabeu. And it'll be interesting. I mean, you never know. It is football. Anything can happen. But going to the Bernabeu will be hard, especially when Benzema's in this lightning form. And Chelsea did just win 6-0 to nil at home against Southampton. I mean, Tuchel must have just done some training with the huh, they must have he, he probably just gave them a big old shit so like let's go boys let's eat it uh, that was not a german accent what the hell is that i'm so sorry i am so sorry uh, i mean can we even call that a game it was just like a pre a pre-scrimmage before the, the champions league yeah, game. Yeah, it, was, it was like it was boys against men honestly it was it was terrible to watch but all right then manchester city is playing atletico madrid and right now it is what's the score is it Two to no, it's one to one, right? Or two one for Man City. I thought it was two one Man City. Okay, that's two one for Man City. Yeah, that's correct. And they are playing, I believe, now at C- City Stadium, uh, Etihad. I think it was one- Eltham or El- Elton, whatever, whatever that stadium El- is. Elton John. Yes, they're playing. Uh, Elton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Elton Zander, Zander, one you know- oh no 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 no! It's um, it's one nil. One nil, yeah. uh, Man City. Okay, one. yeah, I bet. He's All the right. Miami song with one up. Do you know where they're gonna play next? And are they playing in Madrid or are they playing in uh, Manchester? Aren't they playing in Manchester? I think so. Yeah. I think. So. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's gonna be tough going. No, to... no, they're not. They're playing at Wanda uh, Metro. P- oh. P- the... Wanda Atletico Metro Stadium. Stadium. Okay. okay, that should be great. Honestly, that that should be great. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well. Ah, that's going to be a tough game for City, but hey, you never know. Park the bus FC against Manchester. No fans FC. All right. Lovely stuff. Nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then Villarreal and Bayern Munchen play with... Actually, Villarreal won to nail ahead of Bayern Munchen. I... But I'm just going to say this right now. Bayern's, Bayern's going to come back. Oh, yeah. They're playing at home in Munchen and... Oh, they 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 they're probably pissed after what happened, and they're resting all their players as well the past weekend. And oh, it's gonna mm-hmm. be tough. It's gonna be tough for Real. They have to park the bus. They have to. They don't even have to park a bus. They have to park an Airbus AC one thirty coming down airstrike. But yeah, anybody one thirty? Yep. What? Yes, exactly. But yeah, Bayern Munchen. What? Just park it right up in the sky. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, lovely stuff. That's where Kepa's ball is still going. It's somewhere up there. Yeah. All right. Liverpool. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> Liverpool <laughs> and Benfica. Three to one for Liverpool right now, currently against Benfica. I mean, what can you expect? You... <laughs> Liverpool already won. Like, Benfica have no chance. I mean, they scored a goal at least. They scored a goal. Uh, yeah, yeah. And they were they were playing in um, Portugal as well too, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, they're coming to the Anfield Arena. Oh, good luck. That's all I gotta say. Just good luck. And yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> what do you? What's your prediction for the game, uh, Xander? Uh, I'm gonna go to Liverpool. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Yeah, I mean, do you, okay. Let's do some oh, predictions. Let's, what do you say? I was gonna get a goal, and I'll get I'll get Luis Diaz scoring another. All right, yeah. I mean, he kind of ghosted honestly in the in the Man City game. He didn't come on till pretty late. Yeah, that's true. That is true. But uh, he works better when he has more space and time, and also when everybody's like tired because he just runs around doing yeah. incredible five star skills. So <laughs> yeah, hey, there's a lot worse things he could do. That's true. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> He could have taught him. Better than Grealish trying to do five star skills when he got someone running down the left side of the air. How do you pay a hundred million for someone that looks like a soccer mom? I don't get it. Oh. Where's the van? Oh, it's, it's... Where, where's that Nissan van? I don't know. The the kids are screaming. They they need to go home from soccer practice. Oh gosh. Okay, well guys, thank you for watching that show. The lovely stuff. I mean. Uh, it'll be an interesting week of football, honestly. It's it's 
I can only pray that Chelsea goes through. I mean, uh, no bias here, but hopefully Chelsea goes through. I I can only. I mean, pray. if if they if they play well enough to beat Real Madrid, then yeah. Uh, but last but last game when Benzema, oof. Yep, agreed. Benzema is just an absolute unit, and that the the defense was just so what what happened? There was just nothing there. There was nothing there. The, the, it was like he walked through, just headed. It was like score hero. If you ever played score hero, you just like fling that thing uh, in the top corner. What a classic! Uh, <laughs> it's annoying, but <laughs> score hero. That sounds that sounds like a new game mode on uh, FIFA 22. Do you you don't know about score hero? No, actually. <gasps> it's like a game on like an iPhone or Android or um a BlackBerry or I don't know Nokia. It's like they have like you draw a line to where you want to shoot the ball and stuff like that. It's, it's an absolute class. Honestly, it's amazing. Oh, I'll have to check it out then. Yeah, check it out. It's actually great. And um, honestly, for FIFA, they should make, since the World Cup's coming this year, they should make, like, Brazil had, like, you know how they had, like, a game mode when FIFA was updated? No, yeah. they had this for, for Russia as well, too. They should have, like, an update where it's, like, you know, FIFA Ultimate Team, but for, like, 2018, like, Russia, how they did it. You think they'll do it? I think they'll do it, right? No, I'm, I, I am praying that they do because that was the, so fun. That was it was amazing. so amazing. Oh, yeah, because then I can just beat you in other modes too. That's just Xander, it get better. FIFA 22 first and then you can <laughs> chat shit. Shut <laughs> I mean, who won the last tournament? That's all I'm saying. That is, true. That is true. You did win the last <laughs> tournament. You do have the cup on. Um, yeah, well, yeah, okay, true. <laughs> all right. well, okay well enough about my bad fifa skills all right guys thank you for watching the show and emilio thank you for joining as well my fellow... uh yeah well yeah sorry that i came late <laughs> that's okay that's what she said yeah that's fine uh, yeah, the, sure. hey yo hey yo that plays <laughs> us <laughs> not yeah. as hot uh hot spurs though oh, oh yeah the Dijon Kolosheski, they yeah, they can finish. Lovely stuff. All right, and also Xander, thank you for joining as well, my Liverpool fan fellow. Oh, of course, it was a great game to talk about. Yes, it was. I'm glad you're happy at least. And then, thank you guys for watching the show, watching on YouTube, watching on Spotify. Like, subscribe, and sharing it because without sharing it, how else you're gonna know that Manchester United spent eighty million dollars for a fridge? Like, can we not be reminded? Yeah, I mean, there's some <laughs> Samsung smart fridges that are cheaper than that, and they, they do better jobs than that. <laughs> they oh, yeah, keep, okay. They keep more possession. At least they keep the fruits ripe. What, what oh, does Harry Maguire keep? <laughs> Own goals? Okay. Ah. Now I'm hoping Real Madrid wins. <laughs> <laughs> you and everybody else. Don't worry. Xander's probably hoping that Real Madrid <laughs> batters Chelsea. Am I right? Uh, I'm, good. I'm good either way, because I know Liverpool is going to go all the way either way. So. Okay, well, that's... that's Wait, lovely. you support Liverpool? Yes. Oh, of course. Isn't that not apparent by his happiness? <laughs> well, I'm not that happy. They didn't win. But, ew. I'm content. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. And as we say, in three, two, one, one, one love, love football. football. Thank you guys I for watching. I got it right. I am so proud of you. Thank you guys for watching. And bye. Bye.